Hey guys, welcome to the fifth season of WebEel. If you have not seen my description or realized by now, yes, the quality of my videos is higher. Now I kind of faked 1080p in seasons 2, 3, and 4. If you remember season 1, that's when I just recorded the whole MacBook screen. In seasons 2, 3, and 4, I decided to crop out all the icons so that it would be 1440 by 810. So that would be 810p. Now, I have my own monitor and I'm actually doing this from my desktop. This is a 1080p monitor and therefore the web views will be in full 1080p. Not only that, if you think my voice sounds better, it's because it does. I have a new microphone as well. This is an aim to make my web views much higher quality, both for listening and viewing experience. They have been getting better over the years, yes years because it has been since October 2014 when I made my first web video. Now it's April 2016, so almost two years have passed, actually one and a half years. A long way has come in the quality of both the sound and audio. 60 FPS, 1080p, let's go, this is going to be great. Now the first web video of 2016 is a perimeter metro just north of the city of Philadelphia. It connects King of Prussia with Trenton. It goes on previously electrified common rail tracks which is a predecessor to SEPTA. They didn't operate it due to lower fuel costs in the 1980s but I think now especially with both raising fuel costs but more recently more traffic along the Interstate 276 corridor connecting King of Prussia with the business districts of Germantown, Plymouth Meeting, Fort Washington and Hatboro. I think a new perimeter metro is essential to drive the region's economy. So let's start at King of Prussia. Now as you may know King of Prussia is one of the largest malls in the USA. It is a primary crossroads of the western Philadelphia metropolitan area. Many highways converge here not to mention the added businesses going up between Route 422 and Route 76. This is a big driver for the local economy and I think a station in this area is vital to keep driving that and keep traffic levels reasonable for car traffic, not to mention increased commuter traffic daily and for visits to the mall for shopping. The next station east is Upper Marion. Upper Marion is a township also in Montgomery County, same as King of Prussia. It has a population of around 30,000, so a lot of people live here. And besides the light rail line, or I think they call it the express link connecting West Philadelphia to Norristown, they don't have any actual commuter rail service in Upper Marion. So that's why I felt that a station on Henderson Road would be vital for this area. This would serve as mostly a residential stop but there are a lot of businesses and industry areas nearby as well. The next station to the east is Bridgeport. Bridgeport is just across the river from Plymouth Meeting across the Schuylkill River. Again, this is mostly a residential area more than I would even say Upper Marion so a lot of people would be using this station in the morning to go to work. Not to mention both Upper Marion and Bridgeport are not served by Interstate 276 so they would have to drive either to Plymouth Meeting or to King of Prussia to get their highways. This has more local stops. Next station east is Ridge Pike, one of the biggest pikes connecting Philadelphia with the Northwest. Lots of shops here and also a lot of businesses and auto dealers here too between 476 and 276. After that is Germantown which is also in Plymouth Meeting. It's on Germantown Pike, close to the Plymouth Meeting Mall and a lot of offices here. Now these may not be within direct walking distance, but a bus service would suffice. Also people coming from 476 North can easily transfer at Germantown to their jobs in other parts of suburban Philadelphia. Next station is Stenton Avenue. This is mostly a residential stop. After that is Fort Washington. Now this is a transfer to the Doylestown line. Not 
Yes, Doylestown. I always mix up Doylestown and Downing Town for a second. I thought I got it wrong. It is Doylestown. Doylestown is one of the biggest lines. It's part of the R5 SEPTA line, which also goes to Downing Town. It's the busiest line besides the Northeast Corridor lines that connect to Newark, Delaware, and Trenton, New Jersey. It's also close to the Route 309 interchange, so people who are driving from the Lansdale area can easily transfer here to go west or east. Speaking of east, next station is Dresher, which is a residential stop unlike Fort Washington, which is more of a commercial stop. After that is Willow Grove. This is more of a commercial stop. It's close to Hatboro, which is where a lot of new business districts are being built, as well as, well as Horsham. That's also where a lot of business districts are being built. This will offer a direct transfer to the Warminster line as shown here and the Warmistern line can be connect both the people of further north into Bucks County as well as transfer people along this line to the city of Philadelphia. Next station is Southampton. Now this is primarily an industrial district but there are a lot of residential homes in this area as well. Next after the line deviates north of Interstate 276 is Trevos. This is a residential high-end community there are a couple businesses here and there. The purpose of this is mostly to connect people that are not served by the highway or other railway lines to them and make them closer to their work just by doing that. Next station is Langhorne West. Now this is kind of in the middle of nowhere but as you can see there are a lot of residential areas just north of Langhorne West. So I think building a station here in addition to the Langhorne East which is like the central part of the town is vital. Langhorne East is closer to the downtown. There is already an existing Langhorne station on the West Trenton line, but I think the Langhorne East would be vital for connecting the more northern areas. For, for example, Newtown and Council Rock. Next station east is Woodburn. Now this is actually a transfer to the West Trenton line, and it's also very close to the interchange of Interstate 95 and Route 1. In fact, this line will closely parallel Route 1 for the rest of the way to Trenton. Next station is Falsington, mostly residential area along Route 1, but it's pretty hard to go to different parts of the metropolitan area by rapid transit. This is how you do it. Next station east is Morrisville, which is just across the Delaware River from New Jersey. And finally, Trenton. Trenton will allow the entire region here to easily connect with Amtrak or if you have seen my very first web view or other web views the proposed high speed line I was proposing to go to New York, Boston and beyond. This entire line is 36.2 miles long. I think the speeds of this should be around 100 miles per hour maximum so it can compete well with the speeds of 276 during normal rush hour traffic. If that can be done I do think this could actually be reasonably cost saving especially if there are accidents and traffic along Interstate 276. This is the third busiest highway in Pennsylvania after the Schuylkill Expressway approaching Philadelphia here and Interstate 95 just north of Philadelphia in Cotman and Bridesburg. So this will alleviate highway from this place here. The other two have already proposed railway systems for that so I was thinking why not do it for the third. I've also seen much success in my perimeter metro areas in the New Jersey and Long Island so I thought that implementing that in Philadelphia would be an excellent solution. I love the perimeter metro personally. Don't be surprised if I put it in other cities in the near future. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy the all new Webio quality of season 5 and I hope this idea not only like goes to the government, I want to see improvements to this. What do you think should be improved on this? What do you like, dislike? Please leave that in the comments. If you like these type of web views, please subscribe to my channel. I try to upload web views every couple weeks. In fact, sometimes even every week. So yeah, that's all. Thank you and goodbye.